guys, welcome back to the Elevate Islander YouTube channel, and today we're doing some plasti dipping. All right, guys, today we're going to plasti dip the wheels on the Delica. So, a couple things I want to go over right away. Um, number one is you should never paint over rust with anything. And as you can see, my hubcaps are the actual hub um, covers are super rusty. Um, I'm going to paint over them today, however, in the near future, I'm going to take them off, clean the plastic off, sand them down, and I might actually leave them chrome. Uh, we'll see. But uh, you shouldn't paint over rust. And two, Painting really is 90% prep. So all the prep work you put in is gonna make your life so much easier at the end of the day. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just give these wheels uh, a quick coat of black paint today and see how it turns out. I'm gonna go ahead and mask everything off and prep everything behind it and then we'll catch back up and I'll show you what I did and maybe I can help you paint your wheels black too. Um, and we'll talk some more about Plastic Dip and the benefits of it and also some of the nightmares about it as well. So we'll catch up in a few. guys for moving along nicely here as you can see I washed the wheels really good I let them dry really nice I went for a walk with the family I let them dry and now we're back here and I've got everything prepped like I said in the beginning prep is huge this is about the sixth time I've done this whether it's on my own vehicles or a friend's vehicle or helping out with it so I'm no expert by any means but I've done it enough that I, I you know I know what works and what doesn't work the first thing is there's obviously holes or slats or whatever in every single rim and paint's gonna fly through there, and it's gonna get on your suspension, it's gonna get in your brake components, and it might not be much, but you don't wanna do that. So just grab a bag or whatever you've got, newspaper, it doesn't matter what it is, and wrap around the inside of the wheel from behind and cover that up so at the end I can just pull it off. One thing is, if you can get it to not touch the rim, then you don't have to worry about pulling any of the paint off afterwards. So cover it up and then push it back so it's not touching the wheel face, and you're good to go. You'll notice I covered the tire, you could just paint it and paint your tires too, guys. Not a big deal. I've done it, but it kind of looks horrible and the plastic dip starts to peel off. One thing you have to note about plastic dip is if you get it on thick, it's fine. You can usually peel it off um, or it's easier to get off in strips or whatnot. If you put it on too thin, it's a nightmare, an absolute nightmare to get off unless you have a dip dissolver, um, which is super expensive. So be careful with your prep and cover everything up that you don't want to get overspray on. Even though it is a rubberized coating that will come off, it is a handful. Um, you also notice that around here I left a little bit of the tire exposed. And that's because at the end, I'm going to paint this. It's going to get thick with Plasti Dip, but I'm just going to peel this off around. It'll leave a nice clean edge around the rim, and we should be good to go. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is clean this up with alcohol, and we're going to start with the coats. We'll catch back up. And I'll show you guys how I do my coats. Again, this is not a how-to. This is just a how I do it. All right, guys, cheers. Holy smokes, man. It's the first day of spring around here for sure. I'm getting bees hitting my head and everything. It's pretty awesome. Not the actual first day of spring, but it's like 13 degrees here. Anyways, so I've got this handy little <clears throat> spray adapter that sits on top of the can that you can use and kind of do this. Um, you don't need to have this, but I do have one of these. Shake your can super good at the beginning, and as you're using it, shake it up. Um, take If you can take your wheel off, like jack your car up and take your wheel off, uh, do that. It's so much easier to paint these wheels when they're laying down like this. You can see more of where you need to paint. Um, I don't have my jack here. It's not an option for me today, so we're going to paint them on the car. No big deal. Just be really careful that you get every every single spot in here needs to get touched with paint so you have to kind of work around and get up and down and stuff and that's why covering the vehicles up is nice because you have to paint like from here and you're going to be spraying up potentially and you don't want it to mess up i mean it only goes so high but you want to you know cover your vehicle up now the vehicle is jacked up so it's <clears throat> it's an advantage for me because i get more room so just be really careful start with the lightest coat just kind of mist it on leave it for a minute go back a little bit thicker and as you and build up your coats thicker and thicker as more Plasti Dip gets put onto the wheel, you can lay thicker coats and it lays in nicer. Um, trust me on that, just start slow. Just do a little bit, don't go over with it because as soon as you get a run, you're finished. 
and make sure you prep it properly because it is paint and it will fish eye like other paints if there's oil or grease. So hopefully they've done a good enough job on this one. We're gonna get going on it and uh, let's see how it turns out. Honestly guys, that's it. Just the lightest little coat and just leave it. Take your time with this, don't do this rushed. And as you build up the coats, it's gonna look way nicer. Really watch your coverage, get up every which way, lay down, look at it from different angles, really take your time and paint it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint up this wheel, a couple more coats, and then we'll check back up and we'll see how it's looking. Okay guys, so as you can see, it's coming in nicely. I'm building up the coats slowly, <clears throat> and as they're getting built up, I can use more and more. What I mean by that is I can take longer strokes and let more Plasti Dip get applied to the wheels I'm going. You kinda gotta do it and get a feel for it, guys. It's, it's, everyone makes it look so easy, but you gotta do it, and you just gotta, just take it on, just do it. I mean, the worst that happens is you gotta peel it off and do it again, right? It's really easy and forgiving stuff if you do it properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this wheel and the back wheel. Uh, I recommend doing two at once, like get prepped for two, and then paint back and forth, and then you get one side done, it's way easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this side. We'll catch back up, and we'll see how black wheels looks on the old white beast here, guys, so. So there you have it guys, slow and steady wins the race. You know, these wheels were in not like terrible shape, but worse, you know, bad enough shape that they needed a sanding and a full redo, which is pretty expensive. So for 40 bucks, I think this turned out really, really good. Um, tomorrow when it's fully cured, I'll pick off the uh, outside of the tire, the rubber on the outside of the tire. And that's it, man. I mean, on our Santa Fe, we had a 2013 Santa Fe. Uh, it was on there for three years without any issue, without any wear. Um, and then I took it off and redid it. So you guys, if you're looking to black out your wheels, Plasti Dip is a really fantastic way of doing that. Just make sure you just use it up. Use one can per wheel and get it on there because when time comes to take it off, you can just peel it off and away you go. I'm very happy. I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, getting the van looking just that much cooler. Uh, like I said, I want to black out everything else in the van, but some things I want to use actual paint on. So um, that's it for now, guys. Until the next time, take it easy. Cheers.